Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Yes, I have on my nightgown. Yes, because I'm going to sleep after this video. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna lay down. Actually, I don't even know why I'm doing this now. Actually, yes, I do because I need to get a video up. I need to start getting back on my grind. You know what I'm saying? Back on my grind. So, I actually just recorded a whole video, believe it or not, and the whole video was not in focus. This is now the second video or third that I've recorded, and it has not been in focus whatsoever. So yeah, that's my life. So yeah, a few videos that I recorded I wasn't even able to upload because I'm not gonna upload stuff that's not best quality for, for me, for like what I'm using. Yeah, I'm not gonna upload something that's trash. Just so y'all don't think I've just been not doing anything, I've been actually recording videos and they've just not been coming out right. They have not been up to par. I just recorded a whole like wash routine in the shower. Like I washed my hair. I took my braids out, obviously. And I was going to do, well at first I was going to do another style of my braids before I took them out. I was gonna do like dreads or something, but I started that and I was like, this is not happening. I ended up just taking all my hair out and I washed it and all that. And I recorded all of that. My lips are dry, bro. Better. <laughs> and it was just trash. The footage was just trash and that's the gist of it. But yeah, so now I just decided to go ahead and record me styling my hair because I figured I'd get something out for you guys tomorrow. I looked up on YouTube um, some settings that I could change on my camera to get it to focus on me, you know. So hopefully, you know, everything is up to par. So yeah. All right. So tonight, <laughs> this morning is 12 o'clock. I'm doing my hair and I'm going to be using some new products. I'm not new to the line, but I'm new to these specific products in my hair. I've never used them in my hair before. I want to try using some mousse in my hair, like as far as like starting to activate my curls and whatnot. So I'm going to be using, I bought this when I did my, for my braids and I just ended up not using it for my braids. I don't know why. Like I was going to use it after, you know, to finish the style off, but I just never did it. Uh, so it's the Cream of Nature Argan Oil. Style and shine foaming mousse. This here, hopefully, that's in focus because double buttercream curling jelly. All right, so these are the products that I'm going to be using to do my hair. And of course, I'm going to be using a comb, even though I really don't need to use a comb. But just in case, I'm just going to use it now. I have that light on. Oh well, it probably won't affect anything. I want to leave it on. Ooh, got a little bit of knots in here. My hair grew out a little bit and actually a lot of it. Um, um, I want to insert a picture of my hair um, like around the time that I cut it and like it's cut and it's bleached. So like it was actually like really short compared to what it is now. I didn't think it was gonna grow out that this much. I mean, granted, I did have those braids in for like a month or some change, believe it or not. I usually take my styles out a lot earlier than that. But I did have those in for a while, and my hair did grow out a lot, you guys. Like, a lot, a lot. So, really happy about that. So, we're going to see how this wash and go turns out. Also, I got me some brisk because, you know, I be thirsty. Mm -hmm. Got that, just in case, you know. So, I'm really not gonna section my hair up at all, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna apply these products. So I put a few pumps of the mousse in my hands. Just gonna, why do all that products smell like a man? Like, I don't get it. I need to add some, I mean, it did a little salt. All I did was like wet it up a little bit. That stuff is sticky too. I don't really like that. Let me add a bit more. Hmm. I'll add some more to the back. So now I'm gonna go in with the double buttercream. 
I really want to do a little style, but mm. open it. Gotta open it. Two, might as well but I open both of them. Ooh. <laughs> I did not mean to get to them on my mouth. Okay. I guess I can work in like sections, like start on the back or something, and then work my way up. Being that my hair is a little longer. Ooh, this stuff is creamy. This stuff is creamy. Wow, okay. That freaking mousse to dry my hair out. Like, my hair was so soft before I put that mousse in it, and I do not like that. I do not like that. I'm just gonna apply this all over. Because, yeah. No. No, ma'am. Apply some more to the back. I feel like I gotta add all this moisture back into my hair because. That darn, what you call it? It took all the moisture away. Oh, well, let me give you guys a mini update about what's been going on like with my pregnancy and stuff. So, now I, I'm 13 weeks now, 13 weeks along, and um, my belly's starting to show a little bit. Uh, so that's good. Bad thing is I have to change doctors because the doctor that I had, I'm not going to say their names or anything, the doctor that I had, they were not very good. Um, I didn't like them that well. The people are nice now, don't get me wrong, the people are nice, but like them as like the doctor's office, I didn't, I didn't like, like as a whole because I was supposed to, I went to see my doctor, um, I believe. I was like, it was a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I went to see my doctor and we did like an ultrasound and whatever. And I don't know, it's like the doctor, they told, he told me that I had to call, like the Chippenham, the hospital, not Chippenham, Chippenham is in Richmond. The, um, the hospital was supposed to call me to schedule an appointment to get an ultrasound done, which I'm like, okay, that's normal. I had that done, you know, my last pregnancy, I went to the hospital to get an ultrasound done. Whatever, whatever, everything's cool. Um, so I, he said if I don't hear anything in a week, to call them to schedule the appointment myself. So I didn't hear anything from them um, in a week and a couple days. I waited a little longer just to make sure. And when I went to call them to schedule my appointment, they're like, oh, we don't have anything in the system that shows that you're supposed to have an appointment with us, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, okay, that's weird. So they're like, I have to call my doctor to get them to like put, to call them, to let them know for me to schedule. I'm not really sure where to stop recording. This camera is really... <sighs> this camera is really gonna be the death of me. So pretty much my doctor, I was supposed to schedule an appointment with the hospital and they told me to give them about a week to hear something from them to schedule my appointment. And I waited like a week, a week and a half, and I didn't hear anything from them. So the doctor said if I didn't hear anything, to just go ahead and call them to schedule the appointment myself. So I did that, and when I called them, they claimed that they didn't have any like information in their system regarding me, my name or anything, as far as scheduling an appointment. So they told me that I had to call my doctor. So I called my doctor, and my doctor didn't answer, so I had to leave them a message like with my name and my phone number and everything. I gave them everything, all the information that they needed as far as like to call me back. And I didn't hear anything back from my doctor, so I decided then to just go ahead and change to a different doctor because I need to be able to see a doctor. I need to be able to trust my doctor to, you know, for me to be able to get, to get in contact with my doctor just in case something happens. And uh, just from that, it's proven to me that you guys 
aren't really the best doctors for me to have for my pregnancy. So I decided to change my doctors. And so I called another doctor. It's a little further, but I'm willing to take the drive if the doctor is better, if the doctor's office is better. So it's a little further away from my house, but that's okay. So I called them and they said whatever, whatever, I had to get a release of information form for from my current doctor. So I went to my doctor's office and I filled out that form and they said, you know, we'll get this in as soon as possible. Well, it's been a few days and the doctor that I'm changing to stated that if when they get the information that they need, they're going to give me a call to schedule an appointment. I haven't gotten a call yet, so that means they haven't sent the information yet. So whatever at this point I'm just like really irritated at the fact that this is my pregnancy and it's like really important to me and I'm not able to even see a doctor to know what's going on with my child with my baby and it's kind of annoying I say it's really annoying but I mean there's only so much I can do I've done pretty much all I can do so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer probably give it another week and if I don't hear anything then I'll probably call them to say hey you know have you guys gotten the information or whatever whatever they haven't then I'm gonna have to go back up to my doctor or call them to see what's going on how they sent it off what's taking so long because at this point I'm just really annoyed so yeah and also I start my new position it's still with the same company um, but being that tax season is over, let me slow down because I'm talking too fast for my brain to keep up. Being that tax season is over, I'm starting a new position, so I'm going to start that on the 1st. So once that starts, I'll give you guys an update on what's going on. And then we'll say something for my doctor. I'll also give you guys an update on what's going on. But as of right now, kind of at a standstill because... I'm not seeing a doctor, which means I'm not getting any updates for my pregnancy. Also, I did download, it's an app, it's called What to Expect. I used this app in my last pregnancy with TJ, and it basically just tells you, like it tells you how far along you are. It tells you like, based on that week, uh, what's going on with your baby, how big your baby is or should be, whatever, whatever, like what other moms are experiencing or have experienced, you know, during this week. Of pregnancy stuff like that yeah they have they also have like pictures and like videos of like other moms and like what their baby bump looks like now every baby bump you know every pregnancy is not the same so it's just like just to see I guess you know what other moms are looking like at you know around the same time that you are pregnant so it's pretty cool and it's called what to expect so I like that app a lot a lot a lot that's been really helpful, more helpful than my doctor, apparently. So, yeah. So, I went to go get me my wet line, and I got my edge brush. So I will say that that custard did make my hair a little softer and gave it some more moisture. So, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and apply this wet line to define my curls a little better. My hair is kind of drying a little bit, so I'm going to have to hurry this up. Because I don't really want to wet my hair down any. I usually apply a lot of this to my hair, usually. I'm hoping this is coming out right because all I'm using <laughs> is my iPad as a little camera, but it's kind of difficult to see if it's coming out cute or not. But from a distance, it looks all right, so I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to get my little side pieces. Those. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. I'm gonna go and diffuse my hair and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final results. 
And this is how my hair turned out. Gonna give you guys a quick 360. Still here at the front, obviously. All right, so like my hair is still a little damp, but it's like, it's like 95, 90, 95% dry. So that's good enough for me, y'all. I'm really tired of doing my hair at this point. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> and I'm ready to lay down and relax. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, down below, down below, down below, down below. So that you do become a part of the family. Um, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload a new video. Videos like these and vlogs and all types of stuff. So yeah, again, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!